Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, graph this inequality, or I'm sorry, solve and graph this inequality. So to go ahead and do that, the first thing we need to uh, do is um, simplify this, right? Simplify this into a two-step inequality. So to do that, I need to apply distributive property. So therefore, I have 4x plus 12 is less than or equal to 44. Now, to solve for x, I simply just subtract 12. And I have 4x is less than or equal to, um, that is going to be 30. 32. <laughs> I guess it's been a long one, a uh, long day for me. Um, so again, uh, all I did is you know apply that to get it to a two-step equation. Always undo addition and subtraction first. Now I need to undo multiplication of x by dividing by 4 on both sides. And therefore, I have x is less than or equal to 8. Now, to graph my solution, I need to graph a number line. And I'll just start 0 here, 1, Two, three, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's start my number line at, hmm. Let's actually start it at eight, and we'll do seven, six, five, four, three, one, two, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so here's my number line, and it's just a snippet, right? You can continue on however you want. You can start at zero and go all the way up, go by twos, doesn't really matter. The main important thing is we go to 8, and we look at 8. All right, and we, I like to write an open circle in there because I like to test all of my values. Some of you might be at the point now where you say, oh, less than or equal to. That means it's a part of the solution, so you shade it in, which is correct. But why do you shade it in? 8 is less than or equal to 8. Plug it into the equation. Is 8 less than or equal to 8? Yes, it is. So it's a part of the graph. So therefore, we're going to shade it in. Then just pick two other points to test. Let's choose 10, and let's choose 6. Is 6 less than or equal to 8? No, that's false. Is 10, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, is 6 less than or equal to 8? Yeah, that's true. Is 10 less than or equal to 8? No, that's false. So therefore, any, any number that we test to the right of this value is also going to be false. Any number we test to the left, because they're all less than 8, it's going to be to the left. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you um, solve, as well as graph your solution to a linear inequality. Thanks.